Hello. In today's video, we'll explore the latest identity and access management enhancements introduced in the MSP workspace. You'll find these updates under Manage Workspace page and behind the Identity and Access tile, where we have made access control simpler, more flexible, and easier to manage across customer environments. We begin with Workspace Groups. These groups allow you to bundle customer workspaces together and restrict access so that specific users only see the workspaces assigned to them. Here, we create a workspace group, provide a meaningful description, and add the appropriate tenant workspaces to it. You'll see how this connects with user groups in just a moment. Let's talk about user groups. They make access management much easier by letting you assign roles to a group rather than to individual users. Members automatically inherit the group's roles, helping you manage permission efficiently across multiple workspaces. In this example, we have already created two groups, Compute Admins and Workspace Admins. When creating a new group, say COI Tenant Management, you can add users and assign roles right from the same page. Here's where the connection to workspace group comes in. While assigning roles, you can apply them to the parent MSP workspace or limit them to tenant workspaces linked through the workspace groups you created earlier. Next up, let's look at domains. This feature lets you claim and verify your company's domains, which is essential for managing how users sign in and for enabling single sign-on or SKIM integrations. To claim a domain, just enter your domain name and verify ownership by adding the TXT record provided by HPE GreenLake to your DNS. Once verification succeeds, the domain status changes from pending to verified. Please note, only organizational domains can be claimed. Public domains like Gmail or Yahoo, etc. are not supported. Moving on to the last part, the SSO profile style. Single sign-on allows users to authenticate using their organization's identity provider instead of relying on usernames and passwords. In HPE GreenLake, the SSO setup is a two-step process. First, claim and verify a domain and then associate it with an SSO profile. We now support OIDC for authentication as well. From the SSO configuration page, if you click on the second tab called the SSO connections and click on create SSO connection, you will notice that the support for OIDC authentication now. We have already created an informative video that explains how to configure SSO. From the platform's homepage, go to the Learn section on the right and click on the What's New on GreenLake tile. You'll find the first three videos there covering SKIM and SSO. That wraps up our walkthrough of the latest enhancements to identity and access management in the MSP workspace. We hope these updates make managing user access simpler, more secure, and more intuitive. Thank you for watching.